everyone and welcome back to my morning thought analysis videos on Wednesday the 21st of March with me which pair market analyst at Hunted Markets. Let's see, look at Euro dollar which had a negative candle, it was a really strong negative candle yesterday actually um, and that broke below the uh, sort of support or certainly confirmed a breakdown of that uh, 2270 support um, that had been in place. Um, and sort of um, continues this sort of run of lower highs and lower lows that we've had certainly in the last couple of weeks, but also dating back to that uh, uh, February high. Um, we had a bit of a, uh, well, the, the move yesterday was due to the uh, ZEW disappointment, really strong disappointment actually on the German ZEW, which um, sort of, uh, again, sort of continues this little run that we've seen in Europe recently of uh, sort of data rolling over. Um, but uh, interesting that we've seen a little bit of a bounce back today, about 40 pips actually, um, as uh, ahead of the Fed. Um, I don't necessarily think this is going to be um, this is going to be an indication um, that the market is sort of changing its views on the Fed. But I think it's just unwinding some of that move really yesterday. Now, what we do have on euro dollar is a corrective um, configuration, which uh, suggests a pulling back towards 21.55 now. The big uptrend that we've seen uh, on euro dollar that you can sort of pull back to uh, April 2.17, that big uptrend comes in around 21.75 today. Um, I can't get the crosshair on it. Oh, it's there or thereabouts. There you go. Um, and it's sort of uh, 2155 is a confluence level, 50% uh, fib of the big break, uh, of the big QE sell-off, and um, that key reaction low that we saw in uh, on 1st of March. So that market is that is a key level that the market will be watching in the wake of this Fed meeting. If the Fed turns hawkish, then that could easily come under pressure. Um, uh, a closing break to the downside would certainly not look great, certainly considering these momentum indicators are still falling away, aren't they? Stochastics, RSI, uh, MACD lines are still looking corrective within the medium term outlook. If those MACD lines went negative, for example, that would be the, the uh, lowest since November. Uh, RSI below 40 would not be great either. 42 was the, the March low. So it would begin to sort of look decidedly more corrective. Um, but uh, yeah, that would be a key level to watch out for from the Fed. But uh, yeah, the market is sort of um, still in this little mini trending lower phase. Look at the hourly chart where I've drawn in a bit of a downtrend channel. Nothing too decisive about that channel, but still there is a drift lower nonetheless. So um, yeah, you'd be looking at 2360. Interestingly, again, came in. I mean, I've talked previously about this pivot at 2360. How far does it go back? Okay, too far. 2360, old highs bit of a pivot um, became supportive and then again resistance again so yeah it's um it's a level that the market is sort of having a bit of attention to near term um, but uh, generally speaking the market is sort of drifting away and uh, a retest of uh, the lows could happen 22.37 or 22.35 you'd argue um, as yesterday's low coming in as a support but uh, yeah, as I said, if the Fed turns hawkish, then you're looking probably to the downside. But uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.